Why is your pension underperforming? Let's have a look at a popular fund, Fidelity Index World Fund, as one of the reasons why your pension is indeed underperforming. Now, when you go to this uh, company, what you see is that this is what they own. Not bad. I own a lot of those as well. Fidelity World Equity. Okay, world. Well, it's not really world, is it? It's really American tech that they've gone for. But I don't mind because actually, as I speak to you, the NASDAQ is up 55% and the S&P 500 is up 25% this year, okay, in the last 12 months. And given that they've got stocks in there, how much do you think this fund was up? Do you think it was up 55%? As it should be with these stocks, or at least 25%, same as the S&P? Neither. It's up slightly above 15%. Hang on. It's got the right stocks, even if the title is World Index. And the Nasdaq went up 55%, of which it's got a lot of those stocks in there. And the S&P 500 went up 25%, of which it's got a lot of those stocks in there. Yet it didn't get anything like that. What's the scam that's going on? I'll tell you what the problem is. Fund managers like this are huge. You've heard of them, haven't you? They market, they get a trillion dollars of assets under management. So they've got to divide that money up into a lot of companies. Basically, what they've done is they put too little in. I mean, look at this. Into Tesla, they put 1%. Now, we bought Tesla in January, got about a, whatever it was, 150-odd percent return. Well, that would translate into a 1% return. You know, they, got, they put 1% of their money in there. Let's say you got 100% uplift. That's 1% return. Okay, I thought they're supposed to be clever. If they're so good, why do they need to spray and, the, spray and pray their money so far? So why? Why can't they do the Warren Buffett thing, which is put all your eggs in one basket, watch the basket? And you might say, well, you never know if these stocks would have fallen. Well, wait a minute. That's a full-time fund manager. He can keep a bloody eye on it to see if it's going to fall and whether or not he should exit. Now, I've written about this in my Financial Times columns. I've written about this in my FT published books as well. They've over-diversified because if these are their top 10 holdings, and by the time you get to number 10, they're only putting 0.8% of the capital in. Bloody hell. What's the number of holdings? Oh, I can tell you, total number of equity holdings, 1,510. 1,510. That's where your money's gone. Probably bloody brokerage commissions. And that's where your pension is being destroyed. Thanks.